year was 1563 in the small town of Takatsuki, located between the two large cities of Kyoto and Osaka. The emperor and the present shogun were hidden away in the capital city of Kyoto. Neither had any real power or wealth. The whole nation was divided into smaller kingdoms ruled by feudal lords called daimyo and each was looking to gain more and more for themselves and if possible unite the whole nation once again under their own leadership as a new shogun. The country was at war. The strong devoured the weak and people were hungry both physically and spiritually. Jesuit priests had arrived from Portugal twelve years earlier and their teaching was not yet popular because the Buddhist priests were still very powerful and they were fully armed with the armies of their own to expand their own territories. But with the Catholic priests came the first teppo or guns which were beginning to show more popularity than prayers and beads. You must believe in Jesus to be both Savior and Lord and be baptized. And turning away from your sins and idols, can you do that? Yes, we can. And we will do more. We will serve this G Jesus as Lord and urge others to follow him. We are samurai warriors from birth. To die for our Lord is the highest honor. Let us become Kiri san like you. Wada was dead, and the castle estate of Tekatsuki was given to his Christian brother, Dario, and five years later, given to his son, Takayama Ukon, who later became more famous than either his father or his uncle before him. Ukon had been diligent to study and practice all areas of learning available to him. In addition to warfare, he learned architecture, and castle building, he mastered the foreign languages of the Catholic priests, which gave him the eyes and the ears to learn from the whole world. Ukon grew in strength and became a man of character, bravery, and wisdom, which was demonstrated by how he handled the constant treachery as warring daimyo kings tried to gain power and control for themselves. Shogun Nobunaga had not conquered all of Japan for himself, so revolts to overthrow him were continuous. In 1579, an attack on Nobunaga was made by a near neighbor, who is also the lord and next higher power over Takayama Ukon in Takatsuki. Ukon was caught between the two. His vows of loyalty, honor, and submission were all in question. Who would he follow? Nobunaga's forces immediately surrounded Takatsuki and demanded surrender to make sure Takayama would not join his ally against Nobunaga. Surrender was unthinkable to a samurai. To fight Nobunaga was senseless suicide. To agree to Nobunaga's demand would also bring the death of his sister who had been given to their ally as a pledge of sincerity. Oma Nobunaga is attacking us. But why? We have been faithful to him. 
How can that be? Our Lord and Master, the Araki family in the north, has declared war on Odonomonaga. Must we follow him? Can't we make peace between the two? Ukon, your sister was given in marriage to the Araki family. If we make peace with Odonomonaga, I'm afraid she'll be killed. No! But to fight Nobunaga is suicide. Besides, God has chosen him to lead our nation. There must be a better way. I will not surrender the castle. What will you do, son? Being made as a man, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. Dressed as a Buddhist priest, Takayama offered his own life to the shogun as a sacrifice in exchange for saving Takatsuki Castle. Oda Nobunaga was so impressed that he spared all of Takatsuki and promoted Ukon to the rank of general on his own side. From then on, Takayama's influence and fame continued to grow. Several powerful warriors, as well as thousands of village people, were converted to Christianity. Churches and schools were built in Kyoto, Osaka, and Takatsuki. The heart of Japan would soon be of the Christian faith. Except that Oda Nobunaga did not stay as shogun for long. One of his own generals attacked and killed him. And then Toyotomi Hideyoshi became the new leader over all of Japan in his place. Hideyoshi was an unpredictable leader with only one goal on his mind. He wanted his own way. And he wanted everyone everywhere to bow down to him. Times had changed for the Christians. Once Toyotomi Hideyoshi gained control of all of Japan, he and all shoguns after him saw no benefit to allowing Christians to continue to live freely. On February 5th, 1597, 26 Christians were publicly executed, strapped to crosses. Six foreigners and 20 Japanese workers, including three young boys, all remained bold and faithful witnesses for Jesus even in the face of death. Even the executioners themselves wept as they watched the courage and bravery of these first Christian martyrs in Japan. For a time, the number of people becoming Christians continued to increase. The shogun, however, put more and more pressure to stop all Christian activity throughout Japan. The shogun began hunting Christians down to force them to step on a cross and renounce their faith. Takayama Ukon lost his position as a daimyo leader and all his property. However, even without worldly power or wealth, his influence and desire to serve the Christians in Japan continued. became sick while on the voyage after having been exiled from Japan and he never regained his health. He died a short time after arriving in the Philippines. Today, a church and this statue exist in Takatsuki to commemorate his name and to continue his same faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation of Takayama Ukon, a warrior of faith, and we hope that you will share it with others.